One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. Just gonna point out an example. So if I want to kind of focus on one strategy to be able to kind of grow my account, right? So I'm, let's say I'm gonna focus on the low hanging fruit, which is on the day two. Okay, it's not day one. Day one, you know, it has to be broken for me to to kind of uh, count that as a true low hanging fruit. You know, I don't care about day three and day four. Let's say that's my edge. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is that because I'm new to trading, right? I'm just gonna pick one first. I want to master that. I want to understand about it before I move on to the next one. Okay, before for me to even know if the setup is it's working or not. And so what I would like to do is that. Okay, so I'm gonna choose low hanging fruit with all information, with all the data and everything, you know, kind of lines up. I'm gonna to try to do this, you know, for, let's say I'm just putting out examples here, but you are welcome to do whatever the amount of total trades that you like, okay? For me, the example here is that out of 10 trades, I wanna see how many times I'm right on this particular setup. I don't care about, you know, anything else. As long as I can test it, that I, as long as I can back test it, I can move on to the next one to see if that's working or not, right? So let's say out of 10 trades from the low hanging fruit, 10 exact same trades, you know, you cannot mix it up. I mean, if you're testing something, you know, you're testing low hanging, you cannot mix it up with death line. You cannot mix it up with first resistance, right? That's why this is the back testing is, is really about. It's, it's really about, you know, finding your edge. It's like same thing when you open a business, you want to find out the right product, right? But once you found that product, you want to test it. Uh, you're going to, you know, open a warehouse, you're going to buy the same product. Let's say you, you're going to buy 100 pieces, right? And, and you want to see how fast it could sell in like, you know, one week or two. I mean, pretty much same thing here. In trading, you cannot buy, you know, shoes and then the next thing you buy a t-shirt and then, you know, and all that stuff. You cannot mix it up. Let's say I'm, I, I, I just want to test it, you know, out of 10 trades, how many trades I get it right. Okay. Let's say out of 10 times, I get it right seven times. Okay. Seven times. So every time like, I'm just putting out an example, Let, let's say uh, I'm going to short here at four and risking maybe 4.2, right? So. I have predefined my risk and stop. I want to raise 20 cents here. Whatever, you know, you're sizing it, you want to use your account. I mean, uh, one of the things I want to use is 2% based on my account. If my account is $10,000, you know, dollar, uh, I want to use 2% max kind of uh, per trade. So which is 200 bucks, right? In this case, let's say my account is 10,000 and I want to raise like 200 bucks. And based on the strategy, or well, the one I want to track is that I want to, you know, make at least two to one profit ratio. Okay. In this case, I'm going to risk 20 cents for me. Ideally for this, I would like to cover at 3.6 for me to be able to kind of fulfill my plan, right? Because that's at least, you know, I'm willing to kind of accept. And if you have that plan, every time you keep doing that same thing, out of 10 trade, you're going to do exactly the same, same thing over and over again. You cannot fail. Okay. Unless, you know, out of 10 times, you're going to be, you know, wrong all the 10 times. So that means you have to kind of pick another strategy to kind of try it out. Right. But that's how you kind of test it. That's how you are be able to kind of know what's been working for you. This is the key thing here about how to kind of stop the bleeding from your account. And this is the key thing here. Like a lot of traders don't recognize, like, you know, I've, I've been talking to a lot of members, uh, uh that, okay. So I see a fault line, uh, and then it dropped to like 3.9 and what is so your average uh, at 4.2 and then you cover it maybe a 4.1. Right. And then next thing, you know, okay, I'm going to short here for 4.5 and um, uh, I'm, I'm going to scale to five. Okay. Maybe this is 5.5. Okay. Maybe six, that has to be it. Right. And next thing, you know, the stock kind of went up all the way up and you blew up and kind of your account. Man. This is the common problem 
for a lot of traders. Okay, and why is that? Is because they have no idea what they're looking for. For me, like a trading, I trade it as a business, right? But those people, they don't trade it as a business. They don't have a trading plan. You know, same thing when you open a business, but you don't have a plan, like a business plan. So how can you succeed? There's no way that you can succeed in that, right? Because for the rest of the map, like, you know, for the 10 or whatever, the 5% of the traders that are successful, they treat trading as a business and they have their plan, you know, to, to the details even, okay? They know exactly what they're looking for from the market. They know exactly what is the edge. They know exactly the product because they've been testing it. They've been trading it the same thing over and over again. They don't mix it up, you know, death line with low hanging fruit and the first resistance with the other one. Okay. But if you knew and you still haven't grasped kind of that part yet, you have to track it yourself, to see it yourself, to find it, to find where is your strength and where is your weaknesses. That's the only way for you to be able to know. And you have to find it yourself based on your experience, not by someone else. If you lazy and you don't, you know, keep tracking of those, you're going to fail. I mean, it's like every day you're showing up to the market and you see everything is running. Okay. Let me, sh you know, short something here. First resistance. Let me, you know, uh, shorten this resistance co co cover it at this support. Okay. But ask yourself, what is my edge? Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. The most important thing here for me is that I think, you know, when when you do it systematically right let's say you short here four and and you're risking 4.2 you know let's say you have emotions right let's say you're afraid of taking a trade let's say you're afraid of losing okay that's fine you know that's everybody you know has it there's no one that you know can ex escape from that but reduce it to to the size or to the amount that you're comfortable with okay so let's say you know i'm i'm okay with losing 200 bucks here if you ask yourself that questions before you even get in a trade, either it's going to stop you out or it's going to hit your target. There's are no other ways, one or the other. Okay. Stop you out or it's going to cover you or like, you know, in this case, buy or sell, whatever. So you're risking 200 bucks. You want to make 400 bucks back because you know that, you know, seven times out of 10, you're going to be right. You're going to make money because you need to make money in order to pay for the locate, in order to pay for the fees, right? What's the point for you sitting here every single day, every single month, you know, going over and over, you know, making the same amount of money. And then, you know, you lose it all in one trade because you didn't have a plan. But if you stuck to your plan out of 10 times, okay. Uh, like when you lose, okay, that's fine, right? That's three out of 10, those trades, it's not going to work. I'm okay with that. I know that already, right? I'm prepared for myself for this. So there's no way that anything could surprise you. You know, you have to stick to that. So in, in this video, uh, probably I'm, I'm just gonna, uh, stop it right here. Just about this. Uh, but, uh, you guys probably, uh, you know, know, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that, uh, you need to find your edge guys. You need to find, you need to know exactly what you're looking for in the market. You know, trading is not random. Okay. Trading. It's really about, you know, finding a good bet. The same thing with blackjack. Okay. You're going to bet when you have 19 or 20, you know, hands, right? But even that, you know, the dealer could still beat you with 21 hands, but the odds are in your favor, right? When you have 19, 20, you know, hands. It's not like, you know, when you have 13 or 14 and you still batting that when you knew you don't even know the difference between the 13 and 14 and then the 19 and 20. This is where all the most traders are. I mean, I put it really in its simple way. Okay. If you know you have 20 hands, 
compared to you know yourself you have 13 hand which one you're gonna bet on right same here with pattern and setup but in order for you to be able to find that you need to track your stats you need to be you know focus on one first so you can know when is the 20 hands I mean trading is like that over and over again the bad habits you know sometimes the trade works sometimes it doesn't you know sometimes you make a lot of money sometimes you know you lose a lot of money right but try to you know cut it down to the point that you can be control of that okay you want to control your trading you want to know exactly what you're putting yourself into for me that's that's the only way for you to be able to do that that's the only way for you to be able to kind of stop that bleeding out and you know it gets to the point for me that i'm so tired of myself that i said what's the point i mean you know i'm sitting here working my ass off for like two months three months four months you know like i've been green right and green red days don't go their cam but their balance does you know and it's, this is exactly what i've been telling to people you know just get to the point so get so tired of myself and i said okay man you know i just want to cut down the bullshit. i just want to know exactly you know how i can make money from the market you know at the end of the day it's really about how much you make i don't care about your setup i don't care about your edge how much you make right so can you be able to make it as a you know as a, a, a full-time job can you put a foot on the table based on that can you make money to you know to do whatever you want to do in life right this is what trading is really about same thing with business the only way for you to be able to find out to become a consistently profitable guys don't mistake yourself on you know being consistent and consistently profitable that's a two totally different things you know fuck your whatever streaks you know is i don't care about your green calendar you know all that but focus on yourself focus on you know growing that account because because at the end of the day that's what you're here for right you want to be consistently profitable you want to be able to make money you know to help your family to help your life or whatever okay thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here